the intellect, but they never get into the relationship. To get into the relationship, you've got to know him. You've heard it said before. I'm not the first one to say it. You can be a Muslim without meeting Muhammad. You can be Confucius without meeting Confucius. You can be a Buddhist without meeting Buddha. But there's no way to be a Christian without meeting the Christ of Calvary. You've got to have a relationship. There's something about this thing that causes people to get lost. Because they think that since they intellectually know, right, that they arrived. And sometimes we take the scriptures and we put them to a rhythm and we put them to a certain pentameter and we give them to people and the people repeat it in the pentameter that we give to them. And they confess in their mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart. The Bible said thou shalt be saved. And yet their heart has never been truly converted. They said some words, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky. I know the rhyme, but I don't know the reason. I can quote. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want him. Make me lie down in grace. I can quote it. I can quote the psalm, but do I really know the shepherd of the psalms? Too many people know the rhythm, the pentameter of the Bible, but they really don't know what the word is saying. And so they go about quoting things and have no understanding as to what they're quoting. And don't realize that the power that is in the word. And when you put the word in your mouth, you've got the power of God in your mouth. The Bible tells us, speak those things that be not as though they will. In other words, you're supposed to speak to it the same way God would speak to it. When Jesus, when Moses steps to the water and he's wondering how will I get across, God asks the question, what is that in your hand? Well, he looks at it as a simple staff. But God looks at it as an instrument to be used. Take that that you call a staff and just stretch it out. And watch me do what I do. If you learn how to submit to what God said, you can see what God wants to do. Even if people will not submit to what God said because they're trying to evaluate in their own mind, how is this thing going to work? But you'll never figure God out. You, 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 no. You'll never figure God out. You'll never come to the place where you understand who he truly is until you begin to have a relationship with him. And relationships with God is not like earthly relationships. Earthly relationships, the only pure relationships we tend to have is a relationship between mother and child. Because a baby born has no better sense than to trust that mother. Has no better sense than to depend on that mama. Has no better sense than to think that when I cry, mama's going to change my diaper. When I cry, mama's going to give me some food. When I cry, mama's going to give me some kind of satisfaction to wipe my tears away. But y'all have told me and society has taught me just making a baby don't make you no mama. A whole lot of folk are making babies and shouldn't be making babies. And I don't believe that everything that happens is God's will. I think some things are just biology. That's just happening. And because God has ordained certain things to happen, they come to pass. Thank you, God. But then every once in a while, God takes a baby like Moses and say, you were born in an adverse situation. You were born in an adverse environment. You were born in a predicament. You came along at a time that they're killing babies. You came along at the time that they're committing infanticide. You came along at a time that they're committing many diversions. Uh, you came along in a bad season. Uh, but how many of you know there is no bad season uh, when it comes to God? Uh, there is no room in that room. Uh, there is no certain sign to be under. Uh, I know folks get excited saying I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, I'm a Taurus. Uh, I'm a Libra. Uh, I'm a this and I'm a that. Uh, as though being under a certain moon uh, will make the difference in your life. Uh, but how many of you know 